I am going to be training like 11 from Stranger Things in this video and I'm going to be recreating her most popular scene because I want to be on the goddamn show. And what better way to do it by actually showing them that I can do everything that their main character does. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to stop it. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's coming. And I'm willing to do anything to get onto this show. No, no, almost everything. Chill, no, 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 stop. I don't want to. No, one of us. Ah, what the f***? <laughs> I got stuck. Millie Bobby Brown did it, so it's my turn to do it. Oh, you look good. I'm just happy I don't look like you. <gasps> no, no, not in, like in a mean way. It's just because you're bald. The first challenge is the sensory deprivation tank. This is one of the five challenges that I'm going to be doing to try to obtain Eleven's power. The sensory deprivation tank has been used in the show a lot. It's essentially how Eleven taps into her power. But in real life, it's just a tank that deprives you of all your senses. Oh my God. It's body temperature, 1200 pounds of essence salt. So that's the reason you're able to like get something in there. Oh, am I scared? <laughs> <laughs> this is Eleven's suit. I'm not going to lie about this. That's some cheap website so the, the quality of this is pretty okay you actually look stupid how do i look stupid okay oh are you floating i'm floating <laughs> yeah. uh, Oh. It is said to help you with anxiety and depression, but I don't give a fuck about any of that if I'm being honest. The only thing I care about is if this is going to get me a step closer to obtaining Eleven's powers. Eleven's powers could be described as telekinesis. I know I sound crazy, and you're like, oh, well, no, you really think you're gonna be able to move objects with your mind? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Because I actually spoke to a professor who teaches telekinesis. I'm a parapsychologist. So parapsychology is a study of psychic experiences and phenomena. What Eleven can do was telekinesis, or psychokinesis mm -hmm. as we call it. I mean, I teach courses in the subject. I've wow. worked with people who could do that as well. You've worked with people who have telekinesis? I worked with somebody in the 90s who was able to do it quite a bit, yeah. Where would be the first step that I would have to sort of go through in order for me to be able to achieve this? You have to have a willing suspension of disbelief. That's kind of an important factor. The professor said that I have to believe that I can do this. That's the first step of actually achieving telekinesis. So I'm going to try my hardest to believe that I'm going to break a can. This is sad. For okay, I'll f you. If I don't break this. How can I ever be on Stranger Things? Bro, you were gonna be on <laughs> <laughs> He did say that there are two ways to achieve telekinesis. When these things happen spontaneously to people, sometimes it's because of emotion or stress. Could it be achieved in two ways you're saying here, right? Like one, you're either completely emotionally attached, or two, you're so stressed that like you have to sort of get this energy out somehow. Right, right. The moment you doubt, it doesn't happen. I'm not one of those people who can unlock telekinesis by being calm. I must be one of those people who can achieve telekinesis by being stressed. Challenge number two. I saw in the show that they had these electric collars that if someone did something bad, that they would just shock them. So, uh, I brought a, a, a dog collar in and you're going to shock me. No, I'm not. This is my friend Susie and I am basically going to get shocked if I don't move enough. Wait, so as soon as you don't move it, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna move it. I really hope you do. Like all these people who've been able to achieve things that normal, you know, normal people would be like, wait, that's, that, that's not possible. Is there something in common that they all have or? Yeah, there's a wide range of experience of kinds of abilities that people have, but it boils down to acceptance that something that everybody says is impossible is not impossible for them. Okay, okay, <laughs> you pressed it twice, what the fuck? Sorry, I thought it wasn't going. <laughs> Did you see uh, TikTok is getting banned? Yes. Only if you had a VPN that could help you with that. Surcharge VPN is the sponsor of today's video. Woo! And if you use them, you can access TikTok once it's banned. You can also watch any of your favorite TV shows or movies on Netflix and just pretend you're in a different country. In different countries. Can you give me a second? Sorry, I'm having fun. And then, is uh, this important? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you use Surfshark VPN? Yes. I love Surfshark. It's a super secure... <laughs> 
Surfshark has 3,200 servers in 100 different countries. Wow. Jesus, I felt it coming. Sorry. A VPN encrypts your online data, making sure that it's safe. And if you use my code, you get three months for free. I'll use your code. You have it already, he said. Surfshark also has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk if you don't like it. Link in the description. Anyone else who's not Susie can use it. <laughs> Guys, I'm going on to the next thing. I hope one day I get hired on a TV show or movie. Maybe on like the seventh show, you'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. You look fucking crazy. <laughs> this was my plan. I'm like, okay, what's going to put me under a lot of stress? I'm going to get tied down to a chair. And then I'm going to have one of you slowly move your finger to call someone. My ex. Calling my ex is something I don't want to do. And the thought of it gives me anxiety and pressure. But maybe this could be what I need to actually be able to achieve telekinesis. You have a 0% chance of telekinesis. Bro. There's 1%. No, that's it's zero. Yo, that's actually crazy, dude. What the f I can't move. Right. You're successful. Damn right I will be. Okay. <laughs> In 1960 or shit like that, uh, a woman in Russia did it. Ninel Kulagina is a Russian housewife who has this ability. These films of her demonstrating PK were made in a Russian hotel room and smuggled out of the country by American researchers. And then one scientist flew out to see if it was possible and he was in shock. So then they flew out 50 more scientists to see if this was possible. She gets the object moving with gestures of her hands or by fixating the object with nothing more than her eyes. Kulagina has been studied intensively for more than 10 years by Professor Sergeyev. A room full of 50 people could not explain what was going on. Okay, I actually am a lot more brought <laughs> into this whole idea now. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All, All right. right. All right, hold on. Don't do FaceTime. Don't do FaceTime. Just do call. Of course it's going to be FaceTime. Wait, what do you mean FaceTime? <laughs> am I moving in low key? Hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. Here's the thing. Okay. Oh Hang up with your mind. Hang up with your mind. <laughs> Run. No. Please don't answer. Please don't answer. Please don't answer. Hey. How's it going? Pretty good. I just got done riding. What's up? Let's go. I'm in, I'm in the hospital. Yeah. What? No, you're all good. You're all good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call you back. I'm a little bit busy, but we should catch up one of these days. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> okay, Jesus. <laughs> oh, sh Oh, my God, bro. Dude, all things considered, you, you good? Like good? That one, like, dude, I don't second well. day. Shut your <laughs> this was the most down bad I've ever been. I felt like a fool, but I need to try these things. I need to try everything I can to make sure that I can get onto the show and I could achieve till I can eat. Professor Lloyd did have two more experiments for me to try. I'm currently outside. My body Tyler is going to drive this car towards me and I am going to stop it using the power of telekinesis. I'm a trained professional by the way, I have my license. According to Professor Lloyd, one of the ways that telekinesis can be unlocked is if you're under stress. And I will currently be putting myself under a life or death situation to use the power of telekinesis. I don't know if this is gonna work, man, but if it needs to work, okay? Because if not, I die. So just drive as fast as you can. Just know when I stop you, it might feel weird but I'm gonna stop you. I want to believe you could stop a car with your mind, but you couldn't even stop me from calling your ex-girlfriend. I almost stopped you. No. Physically. By you begging. You begged me. You begged. I almost felt bad. Is that telekinesis? All right, enough talking, bro. Let's stand in front of this car. Yo, Tyler, make sure you punch it to like 60 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, see if this yeah, yeah. actually works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Uh. Alright. Believe. Remember what Professor Lloyd said. I don't think he's a real person. And I think he's a real person. I think you're making him up. Alright guys, I'm gonna drive the car and no matter what, I'm gonna try to keep going. But if he stops me, it's gonna be pretty impressive. He's definitely not gonna stop me. 
I'm getting anxiety right now, actually. My stomach's twisting. Whatever happens from now on, I just want you to know that my only goal in life is to pass Netflix Indonesia. I'm trying to pass Netflix in subscribers. I'm hoping by doing this, they can actually take me serious and actually put me on the show. There are 27 million subscribers, guys, so uh, we have a little bit to catch up on. But in the meantime, we're going to take down every single other Netflix in the world, starting with Netflix Indonesia. I might not pronounce it correctly, but you know what I mean. So please subscribe. I'm going to stop this car right now. I'm done playing games. All right. Ready, Manuel? Yeah. Okay, three. Christ, okay. I'm actually scared. Two. Oh, Jesus Christ. One. Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Full speed, full speed, faster. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. That's not good. We didn't stop at all. Wait. Where did Manuel even go? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Tyler, when you were moving the car, did you feel anything at a certain point? No. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot we were filming a video. <laughs> are you gonna keep doing what this random Craigslist scientist tells you to do, or are you gonna grow up and be an adult finally? Because you look like a 12 year old boy, not 12 from the movie. It's, it's 11, it's 11. Professor Lloyd did say that one thing could potentially work. This is gonna even sound crazier. He said that he has spoon parties or a group of people. Give me a second, I know it sounds crazy. Give me a second. And I've actually run spoon bending parties over the years as well. Wait, are you serious? People, and we, we call it a party. The guy who developed the process back in the late 70s called a party, a PK party or spoon bending party. Uh, you want a party atmosphere when you're doing that. It's almost more that a person becomes less emotional and just simply connected with the item. This is not a party, if you can't tell. I've been training like 11 from Stranger Things. You guys know the show? Yes. Oh, Jack, come in, bro. Yeah. Get in here, get in here. Where the f the girls? What do you mean? <laughs> this might actually work, but we need to be extremely open-minded. Because we have to believe we can bend this spoon. I believe I can bend this spoon. Let's f***ing do it. Okay, we're in an apartment building. Holy shit, guys, we're gonna bend the spoons! At the count of three, three, two, one, go! You guys, I think Look at the spoon, I swear it's moving! Oh, yeah, it. Let's go yeah. to the left, everyone. Okay, I'm going to the left. Come on, guys, come on, come on! Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, Alright, guys, I don't think it's working. We need more female energy. <laughs> yeah, 11 is a girl. I think it only works with a girl. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Guys, I don't think telekinesis is real. Professor Lloyd, you might be that guy. You might be the one who does it. I can't do it. I think I have to move on to another show. What, what show? Come upstairs real quick. Oh, sh**. I actually need the pink one, sorry. But that, that gets, oh, I just got you that gets shot, the point actually. across. We're doing yeah. Cobra Kai next. And don't forget to check out Surfshark, link in my description.